So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're talking about Call of Duty World War II Zombies and our Major named Hank Redeu. This man is a Major and falls within the ranks of Headquarters. He's actually located in the map and you'll notice right outside the gunsmith there is this cave and inside this cave there is a link to Zombies where you'll be able to switch menus and head into the Zombies mode. However, this is the Zombies vendor in Headquarters and headquarters, it appears, is not complete yet. So it would seem that this would be an outlet in the future if we're to have an option for a vendor in the actual headquarters. Sledgehammer has stated in the past that the reason the headquarters currently is a solo experience, you're not just filled with players, it's supposed to be 48 players, you can invite people in, which is really nice, you can still improve your social score, but it's not going to give you that 48 player experience. I doubt you got 48 friends you're going to bring into that lobby. If you do, hats off to you. You probably got the highest social score out there right now. But what we know so far is COD points, which was supposed to be introduced today, November 14th, is being shifted to November 21st. Activision Assist did confirm this. And if you digitally pre-ordered, you have the 1,100 COD points coming. I've heard through the grapevine that you'll be able to collect this in your actual mail. So where you pick up payroll, you'll have that bonus just chilling in there. So hopefully we'll be able to pick it up then. However, there is a DLC 1 teaser in this little area. So if you find yourself in the room of where Hank Rodeo is, you'll notice on this wall there's two pictures. Now, I happen to think this relates to the DLCs. We shall see when we move into the future. But where Major Hank Redey really shines is Marie's journal. In June 22nd, 1943, Marie Fisher is recommended to get in touch with the Monuments Fine Arts and Archives program. This is where she first is introduced to Major Hank Redey. A month later, Major Hank Redey responds to Marie's letter in interest to the artifacts that Klaus has access to. When Marie responds, it's not until two weeks later that Redeu approves an actual mission to Middleburg, Bavaria. And this is where we lead off with the Final Reich. He is directly referenced as the commanding officer of the MFAA in Marie Fisher's journal. The side notes of his persona read, attributed as an interesting man, fairly unremarkable in both stature and presentation, but with a quiet drive that has helped him move forward through bureaucratic channels with impressive speed. Now this man is the major of the Monuments Fine Arts and Archives program, overall so he is definitely a leader and a vendor that is possible here in the headquarters I wanted to dedicate this video to this man because right now the room that we're seeing is very blank I believe there was more intended with this vendor in headquarters but it's just not quite there yet and for what we know this is our main man leading forward into the rest of the storyline there is an agenda of the Monuments Fine Arts and Archives program and that is to collect Barbarossa's sword so they have their own reasons for doing that. Something that really eats at me is that we don't have weekly bounties right now and when we do try to open up an actual zombie supply drop we don't have really great options for that either. We have an R2 to open it and plain and simple that's just how it is. There's no way to open them up in the actual headquarters because the quartermaster lady isn't there. You can't fast travel to that experience. You have to go through the lobby system with the menus and that takes some time. You have to go through multiplayer and then verify your profile and whatnot. Or you can just open up your supply drops straight up like this but there's no interaction with the actual headquarters so we feel distanced as zombies players from the actual headquarters so maybe they didn't quite hit the marker on that like that was intended for. But I do believe that the reason Headquarters is a solo experience where you can invite your friends in is because they're working massively on improvements for the Headquarters itself. And then eventually it will become a full online mode where you'll be able to interact with many, many people. But for now, you have to invite your friends in for a full co-op experience. Now, in the actual Zombies Headquarters, which I believe there might have been a prototype for, right now this is what we got is this cave with one option where you can switch to the Nazi Zombies menu. I definitely see the direction that Sledgehammer is trying to go in with the tabbing system. However, I feel like they overcomplicated it and actually getting away with the whole looting zombie crates option, you know, that was its own tab in Infinite Warfare, is wrong. I think we need an entire section just for that and our own inventories for what we're collecting. 
So I would love an entire overhaul of the entire tabbing and menu system, but maybe I'm just being picky. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But have we seen Major Hank Rodeu ever before? We have. We've seen him in the prologue. He was the man that was actually changing the slides when he was giving them the order as to what they were about to do. That was before they were attacked actually by the Panzer Mordor and the entire trailer was tipped over and rolled. This is the man that was changing the slides and the man that we're talking about who is our major in the headquarters. At this very moment in time, I've reached Prestige 1. I've gotten all the recordings. The only thing I haven't done is fully completed the hardcore version of the Easter egg on the Final Reich, which is where we're about to go next. And Major Hank Rodeu, the last time that we saw him was when the trailer was shaking before the actual map begins on the Final Reich. So we have the Panzer Mordor flip the actual trailer with Rodeo inside. Now this was a very traumatic experience. Everybody becomes scattered. Even Marie Fisher doesn't know what's exactly going on. But this is the last moment we saw Major Hank Rodeo before our storyline actually took off. Marie Fisher was able to pick up this object from a soldier which happens to be our HUD. We even hear Marie Fisher say it heals her wounds as she picks up the HUD itself. And I feel like this is important to add into the storyline because we gotta make sense of every little bit that we can because they wanted to take a realistic approach to the storyline. So to explain the HUD that we have where jolts come from and everything else, that's how we got it. But when I think of all the problems that happened on launch, everyone has a good reason to be mad. I mean, they've had three years to develop this game. We've had an entire series of experiences of problems between Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare. They should have learned something with the launches and failures that they've had. But year after year, we continue to see the same problems at launch. And only this time, we have quite an incomplete product to those of us who are very experienced in the knowledge of what should be here and actually isn't. And there's a lot of small things that we're picking at. And maybe we are being a little bit too picky, but some of the basic things are missing for the long-term grind and that's what concerns me however I do have a lot of hope when it comes to updates and patch notes because we're seeing some real effort come in from Sledgehammer on these and I'm very hopeful as to where we can go with this I stayed hopeful throughout Infinite Warfare and we ended up getting bounties we ended up getting a new game mode we got things that we never thought were possible because we were actually supporting this game and giving feedback back so if you got anything you want to add to the conversation Leave it down in the comment section below because right now we have a headquarters in an actual area where our vendor could be Major Hank Rodeu and not a lot's actually happening right now. A part of me feels that there is an actual reason this exists. There wouldn't be a cutout in the actual headquarters specifically for zombies with a, a notation above his head that says zombies if there wasn't a proper reason for it. So I think this was an area just located specifically for zombies that can be approved on through updates and patches and that's currently where we're sitting and standing. I do have a lot of hope for weekly bounties actually making its way into World War II zombies. I just think this is a place we should keep looking, keep checking back and make sure after each game update and patch that nothing changes here. But that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to activate that bell icon, stay up to date with all my latest uploads and I'll see you in the next video. Violent out. <laughs>